69 win. Oh yeah, look at that. Hopefully we won't have more than... Hopefully we won't still have 69 after this one. Okay. Uh, that's a trick room team. One billion percent. And that's okay because I have trick room Pokemon. Um... I would like to lead. Hmm. We can go Obama Snow, Duraludon, Reuniclus, and Bomb of Snow, Duraludon. I might need Bear Tick actually at some point. Reuniclus and Bear Tick in the back. Connor and Jake are smiting. Nice. What characters are they playing as? I don't know any of the characters. Thanks, Connor. Appreciate it, buddy. Alright, leading Pelipper Dracovish. Well, now I'm wondering even if they are. If they even are. Trick Room team. Okay, uh, let's see. Snow Warning goes up. We can stop his move from doing so much damage by actually attacking it first and going for an Ice Shard. Uh, additionally, we can go right for a Thunderbolt into this Pelipper. It should kill. Dracovish is gross. It's the it's one of the best Pokemon's in the Pokemon Pokemon in the entire game. Uh, what it is is in this game you can actually you can set up. Uh, it's going to protect. That's fine. We don't care about that. Uh, you can you can combine fossils together to make different fossil Pokemon. Oh, it's a Tailwind situation. That's fun. Uh, it doesn't bother me, though. Goodbye, Pelipper. Um, you can combine fossils in this game, and what he is, is he's like a messed up combination of fossils. He's like the tail of a dinosaur with a fish stuck to the end of the tail by accident. Uh, which makes him really creepy. And there's other, like, combinations of the fossils that you can make. Uh, I should max Duraludon, actually. Yeah, there's no reason not to do that. He used Tailwind, and Tailwind doubles their speed on their side. Uh, my Pokemon are actually purposely slow, because there's another strategy you can do, where if you set up a move called Trick Room, then slower Pokemon go first. That's what this team is sort of based around. Um... But it's not going to matter. Vicious Rend. That only does half damage. Oh, it was a crit. So it did full damage. Uh, I don't know if that's how the calculations actually work. He's going to instruct him. We'll see how much it would do. So he's going to get to use it again. And not kill. And we're going to take it out in one shot. Watch this. Goodbye, Dracovish. What's up, Sasha? Thanks for rooting for me. Do you like my giant metal toaster dragon? I'm gonna name a I'm gonna name a Pokemon after Sasha. Here comes a Snorlax. I'm not incredibly worried about Snorlax. Uh, especially if I can set up an Aurora Veil, which we're going to try to do right now. Uh, I can also max 
Uh, I should max steel spike it instead, actually. Uh, now nah, let's go after the Owen Guru, actually. Which pillar? Oh, the the husband pillar. This way. That's what they're called. That did nothing. Did it protect? Yeah, it got protected. Had to have. Must have. This makes me really glad that I have um, Bear Tick in the back, though, because Bear Tick has a fighting move that'll be super effective against Snorlax. It's a good pillow, Giuseppe. Uh. <laughs> did did Evan send you guys the link? Or did Jake just see me pop up in his uh in his subscribe list? Now we can max Wormwind or Guru. I figured. I figured he had something to do with this. He's gonna Dynamax his Snorlax. Look at this weirdo Snorlax. Ooh, sorry. This is like the Gigantamax version of Snorlax, so it has like a tree and berries growing on it. On its stomach. Ooh, doesn't kill Oranguru, but Blizzard will. And if we could get the freeze on the uh, Snorlax, that would be spectacular. We're okay. We're hanging in there. We live on one because of our focus sash. And we get the Blizzard off, killing the Oranguru and taking a chunk out of the Snorlax. I'm going to take a little bit of hail damage, but we're going to be okay. They ran out of Tailwind turns, so that's good. Although he was still moving last regardless. And now we just Blizzard and uh, Draco Meteor into this Snorlax. Try and get as much damage off as possible on this thing. Hope it doesn't regain its berry. All of this stuff much must be uh, so exciting for you guys watching. Terms and conditions you have no idea about. There we go. That did some good damage. Oh, he gets his berry off. Okay. Get the blizzard. Can we get a freeze? Can we get a freeze? No freezes. Max Quake. Interesting. He's going after Obama Snow. Okay. I see that. The hail stopped. Well, that's all right. We don't need it anymore. We're going to bring our Uniclus out. This is my little jelly guy. Uh, and we're just going to start Psy shocking this thing. Uh, and I should try the Draco Meteor again. Or should I switch out? Nah, I should Draco Meteor. Try to get a little more damage off. We just hope he can't get a berry here. There's about a 50% chance he gets a berry on this. If he gets it, that's a shame. If he doesn't, he doesn't get the berry. I'm not sure it would have mattered anyway, because he's going to get smaller again on this turn, and Beartech's going to come in and clean up this game. Do you use Hydro Cannon or Hydro Pump? Hydro Cannon, you have to recharge afterwards. 
Not a great move. Not a great move. Yeah, Baratek's gonna clean this game up. Nice. That's a win. That's 70 wins. Yeah, Hydro Pump. Hydro Cannon is a move, though. You, If you were just making that up, you guessed correctly. No need to check the opponent. The opposing battle team. Continue battling. We stay with gym leader. Music until we lose. That is my little superstition. We're going to play against Ness. Oh, it's another hail team. That's funny. It's hail versus hail. Uh, hail teams aren't that common. So the fact that I'm using a hail team and we're playing against a hail team is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty funny. Uh, I don't even know if I need to bring my Obama Snow for the first time ever. Obama Snow usually sets the hail and I have to bring it every game. I don't know if I need to in this one. I probably should. Probably should just in case. I can go Obama Snow, Bear Tick. And then in the back, I can pack Reuniclus. And. Ooh, I should bring Colossal in this game. That's fun. Yeah, let's do that. Bear Tick, Obama Snow, Reuniclus, Colossal. Boom. You did good, Jake. You named good, you named good, good moves. You could probably put any two words together uh, and they'd be real close to a Pokemon move. All right, let's see what this guy's gonna bring. What's my hair doing? I've got a little bit here. This guy's outfit's pretty good. It's all right. He's not dressed for the cold like I am. He's also got hail. We're both running hail. This is so funny. Um, cool. So what I can do is I can actually do this. Dynamax, Max Knuckle, into Vanillux, Blizzard, Oh no, I don't want a blizzard. I want a ice shard. That ice cube. I want a ice cube is a Pokemon that has an ice ice cube block on it. And when you hit it with a physical move, the ice cube block breaks and it lowers its defenses, but it ups its speed. Uh, however, you need to break it before you can do damage to it, which is frustrating at times. Okay, so your move you're calling is floppy pickle. We're going to break that ice face. Goodbye. It's probably going to try to use Belly Drum on us. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to get a Max Knuckle off first into the Vanillux. Raise our attack by one. It's holding a Focus Sash. Okay. Raise our attacks. He's going to use Belly Drum. But he's not faster than Bear Tick. So this is a... We watched them use Belly Drum in the last game, too. He's not going to be able to reset the hail, either, because... It's not faster. Ooh, we got the Aurora Veil up. That's interesting. I don't think it'll matter. I do think we'll just smash through this Aurora Veil, especially if we use Max Rockfall. So I'm going to do that. Uh, meanwhile, we can just Blizzard to try and get rid of the Vanillux. Uh, so I'm streaming on YouTube right now. This is the first time I've ever streamed on YouTube. The reason I'm on YouTube is because I've had more, like, interactions with strangers on YouTube. Uh, 
the only people who have ever watched me on Twitch have been like my friends who I've like texted about it. Um, and more people have found my videos randomly on YouTube. So I think my strategy and what I've heard is a good strategy too, is to try and get people to watch on different platforms and then move to strit to Twitch. I never watch streamed videos on YouTube. Um, I don't really know what that's about. Now this could be a big bust if I don't kill here, but I think I'm going to. Nice. And that'll kill the Vanillux because the Sandstorm will take out the 1% it has left. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, that was a ridiculous explosion. Because Ice Cube is so tall. Blizzard, not going to hit. He protected, however, Sandstorm is going to hit. And suddenly, we are up two Pokemon. Or, uh, four Pokemon to two. And each of us only has, each of my Pokemon has only taken, like, a sixteenth of damage. There's Conkelder. There's Rotom. Alright, so I actually think I know what Rotom's gonna do. And I think it's gonna use a fire move into my Obama Snow. And if I switch out into my... <laughs> if I switch out into my... Uh, my Colossal, it'll hit my Colossal and raise its speed times 6 because of its ability. So, what I'm gonna try to do is max Hailstorm into Conkelder. I probably we might lose Bear Tech on this turn. But I actually like that he has Conkelder because even though Conkelder is good against three of my Pokemon, it can't do anything to Reuniclus, so we'll just keep that in the back. It also still hasn't Oh no, they did Dynamax. They tried to Dynamax their Ice Q and lost it. There's the overheat. Oh, he overheated into Bear Tech instead. Which means we'll likely see a fighting move into Colossal. We're going to reset the hail so that bear tick is faster again. That's nice. And they're going to go for a drain punch also into bear tick. So they didn't even go for colossal. Interesting. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm not worried here. I think he's probably going to try and use Mock Punch if his Colossal ha or if his Conqueror has it uh, into Bear Tick. So I think I'm actually going to just Aqua Jet into the Rotom and try and Rock Slide with Colossal. Again, these two Pokemon aren't going to be able to win it for me. It's going to be the Reuniclus in the back. He's going to protect with Rotom. That was a good move. But it also means his Conqueror can only take out one Pokemon here. Is it going to Mach Punch? It is going to Mach Punch. Okay, so at least I predicted that correctly. Baratrick wasn't going to get a move off anyway this turn. And we can get a Rock Slide off into Conkledur, see how much it does. It's actually just going to avoid the Rock Slide. And that's okay. Um... Yeah, Reuniclus is going to be the star of this show in a second. However, I can try and get a Bomb of Snow in here. Just as like a target. I'd like to try and get rid of that Rotom. Even though it can't really do anything to us. Maybe we can set up an Aurora Veil if we're lucky. Uh, the Rotom is now at like minus two. It'll still probably one hit KO the Bomb of Snow if it goes for an overheat into it, because it's, it's four times weak. But let's see. That's going to go into Obama Snow. There's no way that's going into Colossal. It's going to kill. And then is he going to use Drain Punch? So now, barring any critical hits, Rotom is basically useless. It's at minus four, and it can't switch out. Drain Punch into Colossal. That's going to boost our weakness policy. Or pop our weakness policy. 
meaning we are at plus two attack. So this will do a lot to the Rotom. If it hits. Can we get a Rock Slide? Yes, sir. Nice. Also, both of these Pokemon are faster than my uh, Colossal, which leads me to believe... It doesn't lead me to believe it. It tells me that Reuniclus will be fastest under Trick Room, which is what I'd like to do. I'd like to just get that squared away. Do I have to do that? Oh, they had a... Uh, Jeez, they had Aurora Veil up. I forgot about that. That's okay. I'm glad I stalled it out at least. Reuniclus looks so good in the hail. <laughs> so shiny. Um, I don't think I actually need to. Trick Room. Should I Trick Room? I actually, I am going to Trick Room. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. And then I'll rock slide into these two. Maybe I'm doing too much here, but I do think that being faster for the remainder of this battle will be advantageous. Because Conkledur, unless it's running like knockoff, which it might be running, and would be a little scary, it can't really do anything. And Rotom's just going to protect, which I don't know why I'm not going after your Rotom. He's going to mock Punch Colossal. We're fine with that, because guess what? Trick Room's going up. And suddenly we are fastest. Reuniclus. It might seem like they're going to win this. They're not even close to winning it. Reuniclus can probably just one hit KO this Conkledor with Psy Shock. And Rotom, unless it crits, can't do anything to Reuniclus. Its attacks will do barely anything at minus four. There's the Psy Shock. Takes out the Conkleder. And we'll see if this crits. It does nothing, so that was no crit. And now he's at minus six, and he'll probably just forfeit here. Uh, yeah, there's no reason to to keep. I mean, he could still crit me with a... Like, Psyshock might not kill if he's a defensive build. I don't think he is. It seems like a fast special attacking build. And also, even at full power, even with a crit, I don't think it would kill Reuniclus, but there's no heart, harm in trying. Uh, but we have this game. We have it in the bag. The better hail team prevails. Our hail prevails. Put that on the thumbnail. Two for two.